up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? We are live. What's up, Miss Pat? What's up, Miss Pat? What's up, Instagram and Facebook? Now we rich. Stay down, we rich. What's up, cuz? Make sure y'all tell people that we on live. Share the page. I'll pull it up fast that bill. Nigga in the club, turn off in the bill. Nigga, still getting head in the world. Nigga, still got 30 in the club. Nigga, smash out of my cash out of my spaz out. Have nice where I came from. Code in, got my brain on. Cause make sure you share the live and share the page. Like and comment. What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? We live in color. Lipstick and cognac. What's up, mom? What's up, cuz? Yeah, get your popcorn ready for class. Make sure y'all share the live on Facebook. Invite your friends so people we on. Hey. Stay down, we rich, nigga. Stay down. Now we rich. Stay down, we rich. Riggles, niggas. Hey. 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 Like, comment, share. Everybody tell us where y'all coming from. Where y'all from? Where y'all checking in from? Young nigga, rich nigga. Mom ain't raised no bitch nigga. Pull up with those sticks nigga. Ain't type nigga talk shit with you. Two thousand for them hits nigga. Big dog, you a little nigga. Get money. Giuseppe Zanotti, Javinci Versace, I'll eat Hibachi, no paparazzi, go in like the Nazis, Rizzo them bodies, it's all on my mind, it's all on my conscience, I ain't feeling sorry, I ain't feeling sorry, nigga, I'm hungry, I'm whipping the robbery, I'm whipping the robbery, leaving the club, it's this in the morning, I'm whipping the Yola, still in the syrup, my clip a little longer, I'm in the truck, my money a little longer, my cushion a little stronger, open the past, smell like ammonia, you keeping it on you, you Turn up. Play. These niggas will burn you. Eight in the morning. I'm making a play. Two, three hundred. You never seen it. Half these niggas ain't even dreamed it. New Lamborghini. Drop the top and match my bitch bikini. Stay down if we rich. Yeah, invite your people to the live, invite it, like, come in and share. Stay down, we rich. Stay down, hey, stay down, we rich. Hey, hey, what's up, DJ? Hey, I'm in this thing, you come here, club. Hey, 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 turn up, turn up. Hey, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to shut down this bread and I'll make it. Because something is going on. They want to wear a set right now, nigga. Straight up, yo. Stay down. 500 on a bit, boy, Rory. You were laid up with that bitch. I was out there juggling them bricks. I was out there taking them risks. Now, every day, eating root Chris. I was pulling up fast that pill. Nigga in the club, turned up in the pill. Nigga, still getting head in the wheel. Nigga, still got 30 in the clip. Nigga, smash out of my cash out of my spaz out. Have nice where I came from. Cold What's up, Philip? Make sure you like, comment, and share the page. Tell everybody we on. What's up? What's up? What's up? Go 
to sleep on money piles. I get it in with the crocodiles. Young nigga keep that weapon. I'm walking in the city. Quarter meal on that Bentley. Hey, it's about to be in session in five minutes. So get y'all pens and paper and paper ready. Trap out with extensions. Hotel full of bitches. Bitch, 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 Stay down to get rich. Stay down to get rich. Hey, stay, stay down, down to get rich. rich. Nigga, nigga, stay down. Now we rich. Stay down to get rich. Make sure y'all come in where y'all live at, where y'all checking in from. Make sure you like, come in and share the page. Hey, stay down to get rich. Stay down to get rich. What? Stay down to get rich. Stay down to get rich. Stay down to get rich. Hey, 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 hey. Stay down to get rich. In that six, nigga, they wanna add up on me like rich, nigga. Young nigga, rich nigga. Mom ain't ready, no bitch, nigga. Hey. Hold on with them sticks, nigga. Ain't type nigga talk shit with you. Two down for them hits, nigga. Big dog, you a little nigga. Get money. Giuseppe Zanati, Javinja Versace, I ain't Hibachi, no paparazzi, go in like the Nazis, you ain't gonna buy this, it's all on my mind, it's all on my conscience, I ain't gonna sorry, what's up, what's up, Gary, I'm whipping the Rari, I'm whipping the Rari, even the club, it's just in the morning, it's just in the morning, I'm whipping the Yola, still sipping syrup, my clip a little longer, I'm in the truck, my money a little longer, my cushion a little stronger, I'm whipping the pants, smell like ammonia, you keeping it on here, Make sure y'all like, comment, share. Make sure y'all tell them who y'all watching from, okay? Stay down to get rich. Stay down to get rich. What? Stay down to get rich. We rich. What? We rich. All right. We rich. What's up, everybody? Hey, 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 What's hey. up, everybody? What's up? I am Cognac, and this is... Lipstick. What's hey, up? Let me What's fix this one up? camera one more What's time. up? All right, checking in from Gulfport, Mississippi. All right. All okay. right. Well, every... Tell us where y'all from. Yeah, where y'all from? Make sure y'all like, comment, share the page. Love, all right. Send us the love button. Hey, yeah. Regina. What's up, Regina? What's you up? always on. We love you, boo. We love our loyal <laughs> fans. You know, we love y'all. Y'all make us who we are. She follows us everywhere. Thank you. Everywhere thank you, we go. What's you, up, cuz? Checking in. What's up? All right. So, like he said, I am Lipstick, and this is... Cognac. And we are Lipstick and Cognac, and tonight, 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 we have Somebody said they stay from their mama home. <laughs> Philip. <laughs> Tonight we have a special surprise for you guys. It's good yes, news, but yes, we're gonna save yes. it for the end yeah, of the, the show. End of the show. Because I just like to mess with Mr. I can't hold water. I really Come can't. Back. Like he cannot hold, really water can't hold water at all. I really so we, can't. we're gonna mess with I'm messing with him. We're gonna hold that to the end. So um I'll let you do what we do at the end of the show. Um we are lipstick and cognac on Instagram, Facebook, lipstick and cognac page on YouTube. Yes, sure and us. also our Twitter is oh, I God. am underscore M Cognac. Hey, Brittany. And I am Lipstick. I underscore am underscore Lipstick. And same thing for Instagram. Do me a favor, you guys. Make what up, sure. NYC? What's up? What's up? Okay. Make sure for people on Facebook, make sure y'all share the page, invite people on. We got a good class for y'all in sessions on the chalkboard. Class in session. We're going to talk about dating in this time and age. Who all has problems dating this time and age? You know, just a lot that people just don't really know <laughs> because dating is really hard. You know, people always say, well, Rodney, you're so handsome. I say, I get it from my mom and dad. <laughs> okay. But it's, but it's really so hard to date. And now it's like you got to bend over backwards just for people to date you or like just to get with you. And it's just really, you know, dating is... What very do you think? Hard, it's, very it's, it's, hard. it's crazy. I'm and trying to find that video. So one moment. Yeah, we got a nice special video for you guys. 
just to start to just to start it off. off that we thought it was very intriguing here in Atlanta. Sponsor of V one hundred and three. That's the local radio station. Local radio station ATL. Where is it? It's here. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Okay. All right, so we're going to play this little snippet of this crazy old lady. Okay, so this is how we're going to open it up. It's about a two-minute video, three minutes and 27 seconds. I want y'all to listen to it. It's very, 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 very Very good, yeah. If I you was... were from Atlanta, you probably heard it, or you probably heard it on Instagram, um, Facebook. Yes. But here is the audio. That's right, too many games, too many games. Yes. Okay, so here we go. I did that he didn't want to be with me no more. What's the problem? The problem is that I've been waiting on him. Can y'all hear that? To divorce his Give us some like. Make sure so y'all like or come if y'all can hear it, please. I guess people can say I'm like his side chick or whatever. Mistress. But that's, that's my man. That's my man. He takes care of me. He has paid for stuff for me. I've been on trips with him. I mean, this man is an executive at a company here in Atlanta. He was having problems. Him and his wife, they not really doing it. And so we've been together. He told me that he was gonna leave his wife. We were gonna be together. And now he's talking about, he don't wanna be with me. And I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Now I was gonna go to the AJC. I was gonna blast him out on social media, but you know, I figured I would do this first. So you've been the mistress of an Atlanta executive at a popular company here in the city. And for three years, you were the mistress, and now he's deciding he doesn't want to do this. But why do you want to blast him? I don't understand. Because I'm hurt, Frank. Like, three years, I've been waiting on this man to do what he said he was going to do. I love him. I love him. He, like, he I was, Basically, I've been the wife. I have been his wife. I have been the one that is taking care of his needs. I have been the one that has been on trips for him. I've done stuff for him. I have done stuff with him. Done stuff with him. Like, I I am the wife, and I'm not having it. This is not, he's just not going to leave me. Wait a minute, okay? wait a minute, Bria, 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 no. Bria, you're not the wife. I mean, I don't pay for her, but I basically do all the things that the wife is supposed to do. I'm there for him. I listen to him when he has a bad day, when he needs whatever. I'm there for him. I am the wife. As far as I'm concerned, he just needs to get rid of her and make this thing and do what he said he was going to do and make this thing right. But I don't understand why you want to go to the paper. <laughs> Come no, on. because he's just not leaving me. We're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. What do you mean he's, he's just not leaving, leaving you? I have been loyal to this man, <laughs> and he is going to keep his word. Okay? He's going to keep his word. Period. Okay? That's why. Because he's going to keep his word. I have been, I have been everything for him. I have given up. I have not worked. I have given up my whole life for this man because he promised me. And so now he's talking about he want to work things out with his wife? No, no, you're going to work things out with me, and I'm not playing. I just don't understand, like, at what point didn't you realize, like, you are the side chick, and that's it? <laughs> no, we connected. We have a connection. We have three years? That's not a side chick. We are in a relationship. Three years? No. Do you know no. his wife? Yeah, I know his wife. I've gotten to know her. I go to the same place. She get her hair done. I make sure that when she's there, I'm there. And as a matter of fact, she just signed up for this new yoga uh, Pilates class. I signed up for the class, too. So I know everything. I know how she moves, where she go get her hair done, where she get her nails done. I know everything. Does she know who you are? No. Does he have kids? He has a child. So why would you do that to the child? Why would he do this to me? Frank, I've been so stressed out. I'm late for my period. I might be pregnant. Ooh. I don't even know what's going to happen right now. So he might have another one. And he's going to take care of me like he said he's going to. He's he going to do what he said he's going to do. Period. <sighs> I'm sick. So I'm did a fall. Man. That was it? Yeah. This is what dating has come down to. Brittany, yes, what the fuck? <laughs> that is what that is. Oh, girl, girl by L-U-T. That's what she get with her with her thirsty. thirsty thirst. Ooh, all the egg plant out there. And you you want a married man, you whore. Whack, Whack stop stupid it. Stupid trick. No, that's stupid, stupid trick. trick. Side piece. That came from Philip. He has his own show, The So Debonair with So Debonair. They come on. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> they come on from 11 to 3. Hey, Raheem. Okay. What's up, Raheem? What's up, everybody? So, 
You know, we did um, the side piece edition um, yeah, a couple yeah. of episodes ago. However, I thought this would be a nice little segue from the side piece all the way into dating. Because clearly the dating pool has changed since I've been out the game. Um, where you have to get married men and you date them for three years and expect to get married. And, you ain't, got no, and you ain't got nothing out of it. She did. She got trips. But uh, She's not working. She's not working, so he's paying her bills. Uh, but She hurting, though. Clearly she hurting. Because she want to be the wife. But she ain't got no, she ain't got nobody's ring. So, you know, I'm the tender age of 27. You, I must say. Young and handsome and ready to mingle. And is this what dating is coming to? That's what I'm asking. Are we marrying? Are we going to be settling for married people and taking people's scraps for the rest of the of our? Is this what millennials do? She might sound like she. I, I am a millennial because you know I'm 25 and holding a few. Uh. And um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> lady, them tails. But anyway, <laughs> I just don't understand. I know that the pickings are slim here in Atlanta. And I'm assuming it's kind it of slim. Everybody else. Slim. No, it ain't that slim. And I think the whole premise of it is the fact that he has money. And, you know, a lot of people that go out to marry men, they want that whole... They, they the are security. They yeah, they security. feel secure when they, with that guy because he, he devoted to some other And I guess girl. they get a little thrill out of it, too. No Y'all ever heard of you, my up, And then the girl is stalking. See her? She's stalking her. Because she knows her yoga class, her hairstyle is like... Even though the that's children... Crazy. That's crazy. They probably know Scooby-Doo the doll. You know, like... <laughs> exactly. Married men never leave their wives. Mm-mm. So this is my question for the, um, for the, for y'all. Do y'all, give me a thumbs up if y'all feel like this is what dating has come to. Yeah. Because we really want this one to be real interactive. Like, we trying to hear that, you know, your, ex your experiences with dating. Because when I was dating, I mean, I'm going to notice if some random chick is at my yoga and all this type of stuff. And I'm, I'm and my and You can tell when like, somebody's staring you down. Yeah. What that song? She staring me down, so she thinking that she know who I am. I don't know that song. I don't know that. Exactly. They got that escape going on. You might. That ain't no secret. That ain't no secret. No, she trying to be the clean up woman. Think so, but they don't really know. I was a side chick. F trips, clothes, and hair. I need some debt pay and a, but you know she's not working. She's so not he, working. He's with... paying for something. He paying her bills and everything. So it got to be something else besides that. So what we want to do is okay. Let's let's backtrack because you know I'm good at opening opening yeah. the conversation up with yeah, the definition. It's gonna get real deep real quick. So we're gonna <laughs> define dating. 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 Go out with someone in whom one is romantically or sexually interested. That's the definition. So I dating. understand that that may not mean that other person is exclusively dating. It don't say monogamously it dating. Doesn't. It, it say doesn't dating. say that. But exactly, they have no foundation. foundation because somebody else already on there. How you gonna Mama start? Mama Diane is who you put up with. This is my question. I would love to have her come on. This would be my question for her. When you got to know. one year mark, what was you expecting? I mean, what was you expecting? A divorce. I don't get it. How can these men lead these women on and be like, oh, I'm divorcing. How long, Savannah? Well, the must thing you, is, some people... Must you be holding on to this man? Some people do get caught up in relationships where the guy will say, we're going through a divorce or we are separated. Three years? Yeah. Some Three people, years. It takes, it, sometimes it takes... Three years. It takes a minute for some people. What it seems like happened in this video, because we're going to get off this video in a minute, but it seems like happened in this video is the fact that she realized that he wasn't leaving his wife. She done reneged on the fact that she was going to leave. Now she's saying, well, he's going to he leave. Reneged, yeah. He reneged on the fact that he was going to leave. And now he's saying, oh, I'm going to try to work it out with my boo. And she getting all upset. She probably done stressed herself out of the cycle to throw it off. And now she hoping she's pregnant because that's the way to get him. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Yeah, Miss the Pat wife will know because she... The wife know because she see her when she, she getting her, her nails, nails and done. Hair done and in the yoga class. So I don't happens. think so. I don't, I don't think the exactly wife know. I don't think the wife know. That's my point. I need them papers signed. But I'm ready to sign them papers. But it's some men <laughs> that get in your head and they Man, will. Ain't definitely. no way. 
They would definitely like stream Rick's it alone. Ain't no way. Yeah, three, three years is a long time. Ain't no way. But it can take up to you like. You gonna stream it alone for three long years. Listen, I understand that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I understand that. Three long years. Not Don't a year. Don't put me in that time before. But three long. <laughs> Thirty six months. Years. <laughs> that if he's an exec he make money that ain't gonna be no clean well one thing i do board. respect this ain't this she, ain't she too bad to tyrone though. it don't matter she don't want that i mean if, if you don't want it doesn't matter if i was stupid i'd probably shut the hell up <laughs> we know that thing is for pay okay some people are not for pay and she wants all of him she wants everything the wife got but she ain't got but no that ring. divorce that divorce is going to it could take a minute because He's not going to want to pay her what he got to pay her. The wife that is. Uh, but anyway. So say, going back to dating. It's cheaper to keep her. Oh, it is cheaper to keep her. And that's why he's trying to keep her and hoping that that baby is not in that other girl. And I mean, I just pray for her because clearly you got some mental issues if you dad infatuated with somebody. And we're not, we didn't, we didn't bring and the let's talk about the wife. Let's talk about her. The wife don't even know. Okay, but we're going to stick to dating. Dating. Because that's a whole yeah, other topic. Yeah, and we can bring this back up when we talk about cheating. But dating. Dating. So what part of the dating game does she miss out on? The the side piece. The crazy one. Exactly. If you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. So with this being said. Hold on. Kim said the wife knows because she. Because the girls. Because the girl been is going, going on trips with him. Paying her bills. But they don't mean the wife know. Because if he's an executive, he could have a whole other account. It could be business trips, and they meet up in the same city. What if he charged on that business card? Yeah, she would never know. The wife would never know. Because the, the company would pay that card. That why I'm so scared for dating people with high profiles. Because you just never know. They probably got a whole life so much you Let don't even you know it, If man. my husband was a high profile and have no problems, none. What would you do? Spend that money. Ching, ching! You just be spending his money and no, don't I care? would not. No, because I don't do that now. But what I'm saying is, what's what's the difference between the, between dating a high profile and the Joe Blow on the street who working a nine to five, or the dude that's out there that don't have a job that's trying to sleep? Cause yeah, they all cheat. Exactly. They so all what, cheat. what I'm gonna discriminate against who I'm gonna get cheated on? If I'm gonna get cheated on, I might as well get cheated on with somebody who's gonna help me get out of debt. But who pay, is more to blame? The wife, May the wife, get rid of my husband. Saturday May pimp. <laughs> Who's more? Who is more in wrong, the husband or the child, the girl? Both of them. I think the husband started out wrong because he he made that commitment to his wife. That makes communication because something went wrong and he had to go look elsewhere. That ain't no men. Because clearly his wife got to be in shape and such. You going to yoga? That's class. what I'm saying. You had a Barry got cheated on. Gabrielle Union got cheated on. Beyonce, Beyonce got, got cheated cheat on. on. It does not matter how you look, how successful you are. If a man gonna cheat, he gonna cheat. So you can't, you you cannot tie your self esteem onto a relationship or a man. You have to have something out there that's for you. You have to stand up on something, and you know, just for me dating, just you know, like I have come to realize that I have a type of things like list that I go by, and I'm a very upfront, straightforward person. I let people know what I don't like and what I do like, and mm -hmm. I feel like if you are trying to date me. And you break those things that I told you I don't like. You really don't care for me. You disrespectful for one. Because if I say, hey. Okay, so if, you I'm Mr. Say, if I miss the dating right now. I mm -hmm. miss the your right now date. Yeah. What are some of the ground rules that you'll set? Because I think when you're dating, ground that's rules, one you of the got, things you have, you to, have to be a Christian. Okay. I want to know, are you close to your family? Okay. I want to know your job is legitimate. What, what Define legitimate. Like honest. It can be filed with taxes. You can file taxes on it. You can well, file you know, it's a, it's a lot of white-collar crime. Wild, a lot yeah. of white-collar criminals in jail for no, uh, fraud and uh, Apollo time. No. He ain't even Apollo. <laughs> what about the other one? That's Sheree Day. That, well, like, that's a white-collar crime. So You just got to be mature. I just want you to be a, this, 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 a, on a family, Christianity, and do you have a legitimate job? Everything else can come into place. Because I feel like, for me, I like to do things. I like to go. If I want to go sky jump, I always say, oh, I can't afford it this week, this week, next week, paycheck. I can't date nobody like that. I'm not trying to say I'm bougie. Okay, so I'm would you uppity. date somebody with kids? I don't do children. I didn't ask you, did you do I children? I don't do children, so okay. that, that's a no. 
Because her, I'm very selfish. So I'm not even going to do that because I feel like your kids should come first. And I'm very, I'm a needed person. I, I like your attention. So I don't want to be fighting your kids' attention with you. That's just, okay. that's just me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So let's go to my criteria. And it was, please have all your teeth. They ain't got to be yours that came from birth. But I need all 32 in your mouth or 28 in your mouth at the time that we need. What if they got 36? Hey, long as I... <laughs> I got a big smile too, so we work that He let me least me smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, seriously, seriously. Okay, you, you got to have teeth. You got to have, you know... I'm not going to take that. I'm going to take that back. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, you got to accept what I want. Me neither, Rodney. No, kid. You have to accept that. What? What did Bishop say? You have to accept that's what he wants. I get Oh, no, no, no. This is just me. I, I That's him. Because to be honest, I never dated. I did not seriously date anybody with kids. I didn't have them. I wasn't going to date them. Could you do it, though? I'm selfish. I'm and, selfish, and, and, too. I feel like this. I since love I, children. Since I don't have kids. I don't want to date anybody with kids if I was dating. But once I have kids, if I have to date, if something happens, you know, I probably would be more sensitive to it because I would be in that boat. Because I would, if I want to go to Jamaica, like at the spur of the moment next weekend, I don't want you to be like, oh, well, I got my kids this weekend. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, like I don't want to be trying to be, you know, that make me in my feelings. You better not have no chiclet teeth. It's too many dentists out here giving them big old chiclet teeth away. Somebody to put that out there. Like, do not give away chiclet teeth. Like, what is that? I don't that's even know. That's them big old teeth that look, they look, they, they like this shit. <laughs> <laughs> who, who got those in their mouth? There's a lot of people walking around on Instagram. You need to look. I dated a guy that... These veneers. Guy, yeah, they veneers when I was 21 years old. Uh, we didn't see the guy, um, Regina. Yeah, we... Or something about the baby mama jealous. I With all your teeth was, the same size. They exactly. were 21 years old. Hold on. Bitch, I'm saying 2018. Hold on. Okay, y'all going too fast for me. <laughs> <laughs> In 2018, with the divorce rate so high, it's like a person might have children. It, that is very likely. These are just our and I, criteria. And I'm, and I'm fine people, with children, but I don't deal with it. And I, I don't think about who's divorced. It depends on the age, though. Because that means you don't go by your vows. That does not necessarily mean that. Because mm. if, if, if you are married and you have a person who just sleeping around with everybody, they done gave you a couple of diseases and they on drugs and stuff, you're going to eventually get a divorce. That doesn't, you can't, you can't fault one person because of a divorce. It depends what you that gotta, divorce yeah, was Yeah, you got to find that That's out. That's what I'm trying to say, but. Yeah, you got to find that out. I don't know. That's I'm right. Just... Vows are two ways. If one person do something that's, that crosses the line, that's it. Everybody don't have that old school love. I call it that right. She's a little now. Oh, shade. That's not shade. Like that she, is so she's shady. old school with it. Well, I didn't mean it as shady. I meant that like everybody don't because I know outside children. That's a that's a no. That's a no. Yeah, I will be packing up. <laughs> with yeah, my Yeah, like, and I can love you hard, but I just I don't ever want to be able. I don't want to be in a relationship where I treat that child differently because I know how it was conceived. So I would I would exit just being the bigger woman. Like I just I could not. And it's, I know it's wrong. Breaker. Yeah, I know it's wrong, but I could not treat that child like it's mine. Like, I just would not be able to. I wouldn't hold my children away from it. I would not tell my husband or soon-to-be ex-husband at that time if that ever happened. God forbid that it happened because I would, ooh, y'all seen on the news. But um, I, I wouldn't keep them from them, but I would stay from them. I'm just not big enough. I'm not, I'm not a big enough woman for that. You know, but this, okay, so this is how dating for me goes. You know, for for from my perspective, you meet a one week, everything is good and fine. You either they try to make you their boyfriend fast as hell, yeah, or they the come out and tell the truth that they with somebody mm -hmm. on the verge of leaving. But they can, they, but they still can have friends. Or they ain't got nobody's car, and they've been using their friends' car to get around. I I don't think I've ever met the car because I'm the type that you gonna pick me up. You might not pick me up at my house. But you're going to pick me up in your car. And I don't like, this This is my rule too. If you ask me out on a date, I'm not paying for anything. You ask me out. You ask me to take me somewhere, so why should I open my wallet? Exactly. Do, do that make sense with y'all? Like, if somebody asked y'all out for a date, would y'all would y'all be expecting to pay? No. Or is that just, is that just me? Is this, is, this is only no. Kanye? Well, <laughs> see, you're in a different area than me. Because with me... I'm the girl. I, I, we probably, I'm probably paying for dates like one out of five. Like I just, I, 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 I want to be courted. Like that's the type of man I want. That's why I'm very particular 
it is too many expectations, but we being real, like, you know, well, this, this is what we, this is what, and yeah. this is the problem that a lot of people have when they're dating. They don't really say what they want to say. Is Philip throwing shade? He said, there's, but Philip, are ah! you, well, Philip, are you in a relationship? Oh, uh-uh, we not doing that. Uh, but I think you should let people know up front that, um, what you expect. <laughs> and for me, like, I, that's what I expect. But I am also the type that once we get past, like, five, six, seven, eight dates, Maybe 10. You'll come to my but house I'm and so I'll be cool, for you. I'm so cool, though. I'm so cool. You know, I feel like after, because dating is very expensive. I remember one time I spent like $300 on this dude and we went nowhere. So I'm like, I'm not ever just going to be taking you everywhere and everywhere just for you to get somewhere. You know, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that no more. Well, see, so Ryder going to be conservative with his money. <laughs> Ryder's going to be making sure. Ryder is cheap. We I am. Ryder I'm is really, cheap. I'm cheap now because. I have known him a minute and the only thing I got was a piece of a cookie. I don't like the shell. I grew up with six siblings, so I don't like the shell. I can share when I want to. Now, when we establish something for real, I don't mind like. We got a whole sharing. show and I only got a piece of a cookie. <laughs> I mean, and it was like this big. He had a big old cookie. I had like this little bit. <laughs> You got a piece, though. I'm going to share something. We're not going to go there. <laughs> no, we're not going to go there. But anyway, back to the topic. Like, I'm just Ooh. not, I'm not going to pay for dates. That's just me, knowing me. I'm just letting that out there. But I'm also the type that once we get into a relationship, I'll buy your toiletries out the blue. Like, I just buy, like, if I notice that you're out of tissue. Well, and, you wash their clothes. Um, I, I don't and like all. washing, but if they need to be too, I would. But you got to appreciate it. You got you iron their clothes. Yeah. I used to have... I was trained to iron Dating, clothes. no. But if we're in a relationship, yes. But even if we... Like, if we've been dating for a minute... Because I think I what's messing me up when I be dating y'all, to be honest, is we, I'm going to be real with y'all. When I date, I only date one person at a time. And I don't know how to date somebody else. And so I focus all... And put my eggs all in this one basket... And the egg crack. <laughs> and I cut off everybody <laughs> who ain't, you know, that everybody I just cut off everybody for just one person because I like that. Light skin. Ooh, 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 they shaded. No, now now Bishop, what I will say is I'm not saying I do it all the time, but I will do it. Just to give you a taste of what it could be like if we were to be together. But you know, I'm married now, so I iron clothes, I wash clothes. I do all that. Yeah, you said it ain't cheating. It ain't cheating if you're dating. That's true, exactly. but I feel like dating is not a relationship. Well, we've talked about this before, and I feel like when you are dating, you should pro I call it promiscuously date, meaning you're not having sex with everybody. You may not even be having sex with anybody, but you should date a whole lot of people because that's how you end up getting attached to people. I do, and that's my issue. And I get so attached. Your get hurt all of my feelings. Like a month later, when they don't work out. You be like, I'll be with but you But however, <laughs> exactly. However, you need to know when to cut it off because some people you just know it's not going to go anywhere that first date, but they're real cool. So those people you just date, you go out, y'all might have that understanding. But the ones that you really think you have something with, then you should go ahead and go on and cut everybody else off. But see, I do that so fast. Yeah, you do. They get in my head like, oh, I ain't talking to nobody else. I just want you. Then your phone ringing. You, when we go out, this is what I hate. Give me a phone. Give me a phone. He said, me well, you, and my girl have been dating for a year, no relationship yet, but we exclusively date. Me and my husband did that. We did that for a whole year, and everybody told me I was stupid. Everybody told a me. A year that. is too long. I'm sorry. I give you three months. Like, um, when we go out on dates and we do this, don't have your phone like this. That act, don't push your they phone face down. Oh, I do that. All that right. aggravates me so bad. Like, what are you hiding for? For when we first meet, I know you're talking to other people. So why don't why do you need to hide that? Well, you get what I'm saying. From a phone, from a person who does that, because I will place my phone face down. Like, what do you gotta you, hide? And you've though? seen me do that. Like, I do that all the but time. But what do you gotta hide? It's not hiding. It's a I just met you, so I know you're talking want, to people. I don't want to be distracted. Like, if I'm at the movies, I I keep my I'm one of those people that you would probably hate. Because I keep my phone on vibrate. I never have my ringtone on. I'm in the like, movies, that makes sense. No, I never have my ringtone. Like, my husband hates that. Like, if I lose my phone, we have to get real quiet so we can hear. Zzz, zzz. I never, <laughs> ever have my ringtone on. And then I put my phone down. So, 
And that's because I don't want to be distracted by lighting up because I'm getting text messages from my cousin. Tell my girl, what he look like? How's it going? It <laughs> doesn't. I feel like that doesn't matter to me. Like, what are you hiding? I feel like you are sleeping. Exactly. I pay the bill. My phone turned over. You better be glad I'm giving you my attention right now because you are in the And you I'm going to take, my, and I'm gonna take my ass boo. and get up and walk away. Well, you I'm know. not going to be privy to talk to nobody. Next. <laughs> no. <laughs> But for real, like, that really bothers me. That really bothers me. But you should not be, because I don't mean it to be disrespectful. I really want to be, like, very respectful and just pay attention to you. And I know if my mama texts me and be like, girl, are you okay on your date? I ain't heard from you two hours. I, I don't want to be distracted by that. I don't. And, and, you can and turn your notifications it's a, off. It's ways to get around that. No. So I just don't understand But if you it. turn your notifications off, then you still hide and stuff. So what's the point of having your phone turned up? I don't understand because you know notification off. I don't. I don't want to see you hide your phone. But it's not hiding. If I got it in front of you, because I can just leave you know, it on first. You know, let's agree to disagree. Yeah, we don't have to disagree. We don't want to spend fifteen minutes on that. It's okay if it's not turned over. If it's on vibrate, you know, my phone is on vibrate and turned over, and I always have my phone like that. And I mean, what's the? I don't see the big deal. Yeah. Mm. So, for the people who are on here, so why are y'all single? Is it because y'all are too picky? Thank you. Or y'all can't me. find the right one? To get you, DJ. <laughs> I turn my phone on silent off. Exactly. Like, if, if you are so put off by my phone being on silent and turned over, then you got other issues. But you know what? That might be why that dude, uh, <laughs> <why> that dude, <laughs> what? Why the anonymous dude put the bug on my phone? Because he was like, hey, I ain't seen her turn that phone on. I don't know what's going on. I'm single because I'm just too good for the. Oh, Lord, Bishop, what they've you been mad for married 17 years. Yes, and he get I like that, Bishop. Good and job. And he has his phone on silent. Rock on, bro. Rock on. I'm trying to get the. I don't know if I'm ever going to. What do you mean married. by. Okay, so we have one person that said they're single because they're too good for people. Now, that's bougie. Too good. What do you mean by too good for What people? is too good? Yeah, explain it. Because to me, that's kind of like uh, condescending. Um, that It can be taken in a condescending manner. Yeah, like so I'm too So you have good. to elaborate on that. What's some other reasons why you guys are single? I know one of the reasons why I've heard. Okay, let me see. I'm single because I'm picky and the people I like don't like me and vice versa. That that's was the reason true. why I was single for a Let me tell y'all, for a long DJ. time. <laughs> Okay, let's have a transparent moment. So for a long time, after I broke up with uh, someone that I dated for a long time in college, I did not date. And every person that I that was interested in me, I found a reason that they I didn't like them. And I used to hang out in strip clubs. I'm That's from Atlanta, true. I so, do that as well. so I and I hung out in strip clubs because I knew that in there, men wasn't going to come up to you and try to holler at you as much as in the regular. So club. you hung up in you hung out in strip clubs. Yeah, I was in pinups. I was in. Um, I didn't like Magic City too much because it was too many. I like I like to so chill. So what were you going for? That's what my cousin said. She thought I was liking girls. She thought I. You know how some people they um they just transparent wrong. So you know how some people when they get hurt by a dude they uh -huh. go to the place to the other side. So she was like she was trying to come up with ways to ask me. So she finally came out and asked. I was like no. She was like well I'm just saying every weekend we going to see booty like. <laughs> <laughs> Ass and titties. Yes. Ass and titties. Ass and titties. But I used to go and I used to meet up with my homeboys there and we would have fun. Like it wasn't like I was up there like this. Hold on. Kim said I am single because I am over the BS at this time. I am not interested in the guys who are interested in me. Exactly. So that was the reason why I was single. So it took for me to kind of open up my horizons and People realize. People that be on that bull, man, you tell, this is my, this is my pet peeve. If I tell you how to treat me. And if I tell and I don't and I'm not that hard, just treat me with respect. Make sure I know what you're doing if you're not like this is me. Say you at work, right? And then say, hey, it's right now, I'm gonna be busy, okay, so I might not be able to respond. That makes sense. But don't go a whole damn day without talking to me, then next day I'm supposed to be like, oh, I'm happy to hear from you. When I told you just a pet peeve of mine. See, we would never be able to date, even if you were straight, you know, and I was single, because I'm the type of person I would go all day. See, that's crazy. <laughs> I told, I, I get tell busy. you, I tell you how to treat me. So why would you, why would you do otherwise? And so, and then you expect me to give you a pass and be like, oh no, it's okay. No, at 27, I ain't taking nobody's bull. Let me tell you, I would go all day, and then when I got off work, 
And this person worked at night. Like, I've dated people that worked at night. So, me, I, I try to be respectful of your sleep. So, if I, if I know you're going to be asleep when I'm getting up in the morning, I might not text you. And I might not text you to lunch. But this person will always get mad about that. Hold on. Philip said... Honestly, I'm focused on being until I'm being focused, being until until I'm being focused on, on message. That's true. That's his real reason why he's single. And, and that's what I was... That's where I was going with it. Like, that's why... That's... I had to focus on me and what made me happy, and then everything else it just magically fell into place. Yeah, I'm at a point now where I'm just trying to find out what makes Rodney happy. Because I feel like I give myself to everybody, and I always try to make other people happy, and I sacrifice my own happy because I don't want them to leave me. And then people always ask me, why are you single? You look so good, son. Oh, my God, the dude was crazy. And I think I am the problem sometimes. Not all the times. But I might be the problem sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I attach myself on people like a leech. And I just want to be like, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Like, you ain't called me in two hours. And I know. But see, I'm honest to say that. So I'm not embarrassed by it. I know what I have to work on. I'm going to work on but that. But you can't, if you are dating, like if y'all, if you are under three months in, the 90 day rule, when we're not talking about sex or anything. But if you are in three months in. <laughs> Hold on, Miss Fancy, guys trying to make you be the side piece. Exactly, that part. If you are under 90 days of talking and you expect for me to give you everything that you need to make you happy... Hold on, Regina asked a question that was on Instagram. I am single, but, but I want a relationship. <laughs> that's, that's, don't everybody want a relationship? Like, I am clingy, and I have to work on that. And see, that's the thing. I'm so not clingy. I'm clingy. And I don't like clingy men. I don't like... I don't like... I don't even like clingy friends. Like, I'm that friend. If I know you clingy, I will purposely... This is bothering me. I'm sorry. Thank you. I've been trying to get that out my face for long, but you can't help us out. I will purposely ignore you because you're trying to cling to me. I hate clinginess. I'm not that clingy. Like, you're like... If you're clingy, I'm not like... Let's do it. Okay, so cling to me. Cling to me. No! That's me, that's me. No! I just I guess I need some reassurance. I wanna know like how do you feel about me? Like And I'd be like, Are you're you awesome? Enjoying? You're awesome. <laughs> I think that's my issue because dating, I feel like I can have a good time. I'm very fun. I like to do a lot of fun things. I like to like go out. I'm very adventurous. I'm very last minute. You can say, Oh, we finna drive to Miami today. And I'm all down for it. Like, okay. I ain't got nobody to hold on to. Yeah. But I feel like, I really feel like, um, to be honest and to be real, like a serious, serious moment, I don't like to be alone. And I feel like if anybody give me just an ounce of what I need, I just like to latch on to it. And see, that's the thing. I think that a lot of people, when they date, they make the mistake of not, of feeling like, okay, now I ain't got to be alone. Exactly. So I got to see you every day and just yeah, be like, what's going but, on? You have to cherish your alone time. You have to learn to really enjoy your alone time. Hello. Yep, you are your own problem. I, I will go forever without calling. I will look at the phone and watch. <laughs> I like Mama Diane. When I tell you my mom would do watch that. Watch it Yes. Okay, so then we have, because I was cheated on, how do you pick a guy who's not a cheater? Okay. That's the question you think all men and women cheat. They can go both. I think all men and women have the capacity to cheat. But this is the thing. And you can't focus on one cheating person because if if you are the person with the flaw and you are fixed and you fixed your flaw, you don't want the next man or woman to judge you based off of that one flaw that you had with somebody else because they never even saw that side of you. So you have to have that same mindset when you dating the next, and that's the hard part. When like when Erica Badu say pack light. That's what she mean by it. Like you really have to let go of that, get over it, and then move to the next. You have to, you have to let, you have to forgive. Cause what you don't want to do, I feel like I have done this to somebody. I probably ruined a good person because of my own insecurities. Yes, and a lot of people. And now that person dating, gonna go with somebody and be ruined because of what exactly. I did. Exactly. Because I didn't allow myself to heal. Exactly. That's just and that's personal very opinions, important. You have our personal opinions. Yeah. But you I have to learn how to heal. How Gary said. Gotta learn to like yourself first. If you can't be alone with, with you, you, neither, neither can I. Exactly. And I think Guilty. that and I think that a lot of people in the dating pool, they end up they're dating people before they heal from the other person that they were in a relationship with or they tried to date. I think everyone should try to be okay with being by yourself. Exactly. Like once you're okay with I'm being learning. by yourself, but see, the thing you is, won't be and I'm not trying to be like put you know, my family is very single it's very few people in marriages and i feel like my grandmother passed away and she just shut down because her marriage ain't work 
And I felt like she could have had, like, she really died alone. And I don't want to do that. I, I I just feel like that's just a curse in my family. Okay. Because, like, many marriages don't last Let in my family. Let me rephrase this. You get what I'm saying? Let me rephrase my question. Because a lot of people, especially in the African-American community, they, they see that. Like, it's a lot of single-parent households. And my grandma was beautiful. But she had a husband. His husband went, no, ish. It doesn't, okay. And looks, I feel like after that husband, she just shut down. Looks, status, your economic le level, none of that matters. If a man gonna cheat, he gonna cheat. He'll cheat the crackhead. I'm not talking about cheating. I'm talking about I just don't want to be alone. I got that. I feel that. like I'm going to be alone. I got that. So what you have to realize, because that happens in a lot of people, you have to really answer the question like, what made her be alone, and do I have that characteristic? Like, do am I am I following those? Specific? But see, I'm so head. And that's another thing. I'm so headstrong. I don't, I don't let people lead. I don't let people do anything. I feel like I'm so used to it in my family. Like I'm so used to people like being like, this is it. No breaking up. No, I mean, not bring no, no, like no nonsense. If you do Who's this, I'm sit. gone. We had a comment on here. It says, insecurity, non-individualism, putting God first and then yourself, and no self-love or love for others is the substance for being stuck being alone. I agree with that. That's true. I Hold think on. a lot of people are insecure, and they use that I don't like to be alone as a, as a crutch. When exactly. in actuality, you are not secure with yourself. You don't know yourself enough to know that you're dating the wrong individual. We are, we are so visual and we go off of the physical looks and how people look that we're like, okay, we want to date that person. Exactly. Or they like the I, same. And, they, and they crazy. And they be crazy. Hold on. My mom yeah. said, I'm not clingy. I don't like clingy people. I would trust you until you give me a reason not to. That's one thing I think I do get from my mom. I'm very trusting and I give and I, I'm, I'm an open book and I tell you, whatever you want to know, I don't hide anything. It's no like, whatever. She don't really like me. Being called the cat lady, I do not like, I do not be alone the cat lady. I guess you said she don't want to be called a cat lady. Who don't? Not the care lady. Oh, Regina. Yeah. yeah the cat lady. I feel like I'm going to be a person with a lot of dogs around me. You'll walk over and say, you Kanye, what, no you hey, Aiden, what you got going on? Hey, what you got going on in your now. kitchen? Don't step on Rufus. <laughs> but I know, I, I like being alone, <laughs> and I think that's why I work in my relationship. Because we both are like loners. So he has his space and I have mine. But I think, However, that don't work for everybody. You don't. But because I think... If I, think, I dated somebody like you, I would not... And he's 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 a little clingier than I am. I'm not going to say he's clingy. But he's clingier than I am. And I had to learn early on in the relationship. I had to learn how I need to kind of give him our time. Like I have yeah. to cater to that part. You have to give people time. You just can't be like... And I, I think that's so selfish. That you can't get somebody. Now, how you think I'm a true Leo? Huh? I want to hear this. But I, I like being alone. And you have to know that person. You just do. Because I could, like, if I was dating, I could you treat you You have to learn when, when a person him. is angry. Exactly. But I also have to know myself. And this is the part that I think a lot of people in the dating pool get wrong. They don't really know themselves. They know what they like sexually. They know what they want in a partner financially. They know what they like to go on dates. But when it comes to what makes them tick, they don't realize that. Because I know even now, like, my husband will say, oh, you don't like that. And I'm like, how you know I don't like that? He's like, because you don't. Because I done did it before. No, he be wrong. Like no, he don't be wrong. See, he knows you. Your husband, I hope your husband hooks you know something about you, right? He do. <laughs> I, get, I get to say that hopefully one day. <laughs> oh, oh, let me just, like, a side piece, side note, side note. Could you just move up a little bit? I want y'all to look at my sign. Y'all see that? Can y'all read that? I did that. I wrote that backwards. Do y'all know how much skill that took? Kudos <laughs> to me. Okay, back to the topic. But let me just say this. Um, I just know for people who's like me who are scared, probably scared to be open and honest about it. I just know for me, and, and I probably speak to somebody else on this live as well, that... We cannot worry about how our family history is going. Okay, I understand. I'll take that. We cannot worry about what others are, like what we see in our family. We have to learn how to learn ourselves first. Because I feel like everybody's not the issue when you are, when everything's ending the same okay. over and over and over again. Sometimes you got to think in deep down inside yourself, like, is it something that's in me that's keeping me? Because don't, because all these people know each other, but they always end the same way. 
You know what I'm saying? So I had to take a step back in my life and be like, you know what, Rodney? Yeah. You could probably change this. Because the common denominator is me. And, and, I, and I can accept that. And I have to learn, like, I, can, I need to know how to date myself. Because I can't stand to be with myself just like Garen said. How can someone stand to be with me? Exactly. And so that takes a lot of courage and, I, and you know, and a lot of honesty with mm -hmm. yourself to say, like, I am the issue. And, and let me say this part because this is another piece that we're not going to touch on tonight because it's going to go way too deep into it. But what I had to do is like after every major relationship, and I say major if we didn't been in a relationship over like three years. I'm a serial monogamous, monogamous person. Like that's what I do. Mm -hmm. um, I would take some time to be celibate and really work on me. Like mm -hmm. all of my close friends can attest to this. Like I have been celibate almost like up to a year. Just to work on me, like spiritual work, I would take baths, I would do grounding, a whole bunch of stuff that other people probably not into, I would do that. And I would work on me before I got into the next relationship. Because every time I just hopped into something else, it was a disaster. Now, I'm not saying everybody needs to be celibate I can't for a that. year. But what I am saying is everybody needs, that was my, that's my way of doing it. Y'all, me and y'all are different. Yeah. But you have to yeah. cleanse yourself and work on yourself. You don't necessarily have to be celibate because I'm, I'm, I have some very sexual friends, female friends that, you know, they just have to have it. And what I would say is you need to get you a plumber to go ahead and clean them pipes every now and then that you know you ain't got to worry about no relationship with. They can come in and knock it down. And you bust it open, do whatever y'all need to do, and then you move on and you can work on yourself. Because you know it's no strings attached. That's me. You think I might just need me a cut a cutty buddy? And then we know what it I think I might like that. You know, I never thought about having that. I thought that was such a bad thing. Like Bust it, baby, type situation. I'll tell you some stories off air, honey. I might have to, yeah. And I can still work on me and still get what I need. Child, let me tell you, because I done <laughs> had some people that, you know, you, my mama watching, so let me clean this up. I done had some people that they came over for dinner, and all they got to do was just eat off the china. That part. Ah, <laughs> yes. That but, part. you know, but in a day, like, I truly feel like it is hope for our generation. Yeah, save it for Saturday. <laughs> I, uh, but I truly do feel like. That's right. It's not safe and it can affect your emotional health. It really can. You it already really have can. trust issues. So he's saying you might not need a cut, but you might just need to be, you know. We might need to just go to Tokyo Valentino and get you some things. You know they got no. I can't get in the toys. <laughs> I'll be having a whole conversation. <laughs> you go like, who you talking to? I'm talking to Mike. <laughs> See, you already named him. We one step, we one step there. <laughs> be like, what's his name? His name is Michael. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> <laughs> he was a man. <laughs> Like, he shit around like a block. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he was the two ninety nine special. Ooh, ooh, but no, but That's real. Right. <laughs> okay, seriously, let's wrap this up because we running long. <laughs> All right, so we would love to hear your ideas on some dating tips. We're gonna bring this uh, back to back next week, especially when it comes to the sex part. Cause sex matters. It, it matters. Good sex matters. <laughs> Did I say sex matters? Good sex. Again, sex matters. <laughs> Good sex matters. <laughs> Miss Pat, I don't need you to do that. Matter of fact, I tried to get you to go to. You know what? We gonna we gonna have it offline. No, I saw that <laughs> Miss on Katie run <laughs> Garrett, little booties matter. Hey, let me tell you something. I have a dump. I don't like Taurus side. either, DJ. I don't need you trying to shave me with my little booty, honey. <laughs> well, I know you weren't talking about me. Am I bigger than y'all? I don't think so. This one thing, you know, my family has. Me and really got. Mine do too. We got nice thighs and nice little buttocks. <laughs> but yours don't clap like mine. I ain't th all I right, do all let's that. wrap this up. I don't do all okay, that. Okay, so thank y'all for tuning in. We're going to bring this back next week. The, I'm the C. He is the CEO of All Little Booties Matter. That's right, DJ. DJ, okay. yeah. <laughs> little booty dance, little booty dance, little booty dance, little booty matter. <laughs> You don't even make no waves. You gotta pump it. You gotta look. You gotta push it. 
<laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Can I get a ripple? <laughs> I'm gonna leave my friend alone. Ooh, little booty tea. <laughs> he got me for real. Oh well. Oh, well, you already knew that. There wasn't even no competition that's trying to say. What, what did you think was going to say? <laughs> he probably. But um, right <laughs> but um, <laughs> we have some great, exciting news. Okay, so Drumbo Freeze. The news is we on the radio, bitches. <laughs> we will be on what is it called HHJR Radio, Radio. on Saturdays from 11 a.m. to, to 1, 1 p.m. starting May 12th. That's is a May Saturday. 5th. Lord Jesus. I'm sorry, May 5th. May 5th. Now May all these exciting news. Hold on, because she mentioned that stuff. This is my moment. <laughs> I'm the BNC right now. I'm gonna share. I I'll guess share. I'll be Michelle. I would have even you Kelly. <laughs> but no, for real. We are so excited and so blessed to be on the radio. We are so glad, glad you guys shared our life and liked us enough to have Aaron watch us from the So, so Dim Net show. And from there, he gave us a good word with who he works for. I'm sorry, y'all. And now we're going to be on HHJR Rap Radio. It is on an app. We'll give y'all the links to the app. Um, you can download it and you can listen to us on Saturday starting May 5th. Um, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Yes, yes. And also for the people who are tuning in, please make sure you share this live. And whoever gets the most likes, we have a very good surprise for you. Yes. And so, also, if you want to be sponsored on our next Facebook Live or even on our radio show, which is very, very good for their promotion, please drop us an um, email at lipstickandcognac at gmail. Dot com L I P S T I C K A N D C O G N A C. Let's oh no, you it. can be from Oklahoma because this is an app. You can download the app. Yes. And anybody can listen. That's why I really like Child about the app. Internet we radio. got you covered. We have you covered. And again, we are on the motherfucking radio. We on the radio. We on the radio. And I can't even dance, but. Hey, we made the so radio. Make sure that you guys tune in to us May 5th. We'll drop it again. We'll put a promo out. We'll make sure we um put it on our Facebook page, yes. our Instagram page. We'll probably do some lives from there. And our first guest and on the radio, y'all will really, 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 really love station. it. It is R&B and rap. Yes. And again, for y'all be able to download the app now, the app is called HHJR Radio. We'll HHJR we'll Radio. We will also put a link in for real. Make sure y'all like, comment, share the video, and also again for our sponsors who want to sponsor us. You drop know. us an email. Drop. You can DM DM us or whatever. Yeah, and just drop us a. But well, we need to keep them to the email. We keep on track. So again, that's L I P S T I C K A N D C O G N A C at gmail dot com. And again, we just want to say we thank y'all so much because without y'all. There would be no us. Yes, we really, really, really appreciate We really you guys. like for real. Rap radio. HHJR rap radio. We will be there. Be there or be square. Thank y'all for joining us. Let if you want to come one. on this week, make sure you um, DM us and let us know if you want to, because we're going to try to bring somebody on for the beginning of the month to talk about dating. You can give your <laughs> um, commentary on it. I have a country accent. Yes, you have a country <laughs> do accent. Do I really? Yes, you do. <laughs> oh. I don't. <laughs> I don't need Straight from Kyle Paul. <laughs> All right. Thank y'all. We love y'all. We love y'all. Good night. Wom, 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 wom. Bye bye. Wom, wom, wom. Wom, wom, wom. Wom, wom.